This is the John Batchelor Show. I'm Chris Reback with Amy Resnick, America's editor of International Financing Review. BuzzFeed's Andrew Kaczynski has been called a political video prodigy and the Oppenheimer of political videos. He defended his title again just this week, publishing video of President Obama as a law student in 1990, supporting law professor Derek Bell at Harvard. That video has become a source of controversy. Was it meant to be hidden, or is it all a big nothing? Talking with uh, with us now, BuzzFeed's Andrew Kaczynski. Andrew, thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's great to be with you. Andrew, why did this video become a big deal? Uh, This video became a big deal mostly because uh, this is sort of a a neat old look at President Obama. It really shows him uh, back before he really had these ambitions to be president. Uh, People looked into this, um, and people really saw it from a couple of different perspectives. Uh, Some people saw it as, you know, look at President Obama, what a great speaker he was. He's essentially the same person today. But uh, some people on the right looked at this clip, and they thought, well, look at Obama. He's at this uh, rally for, for racial diversity, and he's supporting this professor who has some controversial views. Well, if we can, let's take a quick listen to the video that you're talking about. And I remember that the black law students had organized an orientation for the first-year students. And one of the persons who spoke at that orientation was Professor Bell. And I remember him sauntering up to the front and not giving us a lecture, but engaging us in a conversation and speaking the truth and telling us that he has to learn at this place that I've carried with me ever since. Now, how did this one man do all this? How's he accomplished all this? He hasn't done it simply by his good looks and easy charm. Although he has both in ample measure. Andrew, I'm just taken by how much law review editor Barack Obama sounds like President Barack Obama. Yeah, I mean, it's really almost uncanny, the similarities between the two. I think if you look at the video, uh, the only difference people are, are noticing between the two is that is that uh, law editor Obama keeps putting his hands in his pockets. And that's that's really the only difference. Andrew, this is a pretty specialized talent that you have. How did you start doing this, and and how, uh, it's taken off so much? How how did that happen? Uh, the the first way I actually started doing this is, is really localized here to New York. I live over in Queens in the Ninth District in Kew Gardens, uh, and we had the special election to replace Anthony Weiner back in uh, September. And I remember I was looking into the two candidates, uh, Assemblyman David Weprin and, and Bob Turner, who was a former TV executive. And I was looking on YouTube, and I found this uh, old video of David Weprin at the Soul Summit in Brooklyn doing sort of this incredibly awkward dance. Uh, and I remember I, I found that on a message board, and I cut that video, and I put it up onto YouTube, and it got picked up by the national media. It got picked up by the local media, and it got, like, I believe 20,000 views in, in a couple days. Uh, and after that, I really started looking for all these old videos online related to politicians and realizing that uh, these could uh, kind of have not only an impact on the political conversation, but it was something that people did find entertaining, whether it was actually something that showed a difference in policy of an old politician or just something like the video with Assemblyman Weprin showing him uh, sort of out of his element. Okay, so should we all take note that uh, family footage should not be put anywhere on the Internet now because you're out there? Well, generally what I do is um, more focused on the policy type thing. I I wouldn't really uh, look for, I guess, things on Facebook or Twitter. Um, I guess what I would say to someone who is aspiring for a career in politics is, you know, stick to your issues. uh, And if, you you know, you change your positions, you know, let it be out of your core convictions rather than out of political convenience, which I think is what a lot of people find most interesting about uh, the the different videos of of past politicians and their statements. We're talking with BuzzFeed's Andrew Kaczynski. You know, Andrew, I'm amazed, and I'm wondering if you're surprised 
you know, what you're doing, which is fantastic and interesting and uh, creating a great deal of discussion, I would kind of characterize it as the modern day equivalent or a modern day equivalent of what Tim Russert used to do on Meet the Press. Now, he would have the guest in the studio, and he would have a nice conversation, and then he would unearth the video that Andrew Kaczynski would be finding today, and he would say, okay, senator, governor, represent, what about this? It, it, you know, is that, is that kind of what you're doing? Yeah, and the great thing about uh, these old videos and even uh, you know, when you find old articles or old interviews that are just in print – is you really get to engage with the politicians themselves. Because if you find something that uh, has enough of an impact, like a video that I found of Newt Gingrich supporting an individual mandate or Mitt Romney supporting one in 2009 or Rick Santorum talking about how much he liked getting earmarks as a senator, is you really can have this effect over the political discourse because these campaigns will have to respond to these things and they'll have to – you know, maybe issue a statement or, or explain, you know, why this isn't the case anymore. Um, it really shows a way that uh, someone can get involved and, and interact with, with these people just by, you know, using their computer or using social media. Isn't it really about accountability? Uh, I think, you know, a lot of times when I go looking for things, it, it, it's, it's about holding people to, to their statements. It's about, uh, and, and part of it is, is just my own um, desire to research and understand how people have, you know, become who they are today, just by, by researching uh, who Mitt Romney was in 1994, in 2002, in 2007, or even in 2009. Uh, you really get to see how they've evolved and how they've turned into the politician they are today. Uh, and I, I find it interesting, and part of the reason I do it is because I think other people find it interesting as well. I agree with you, Andrew. It is fascinating to see where uh, our leaders and those who aspire to be aspire to be our leaders uh, have come from. I do want to ask you though: Is it at all unfair, or, or well, I shouldn't even say that? By p- finding these uh, this video evidence and posting it, are you saying that politicians should never have positions that evolve? They should never be able to change their minds? No. What, what I think is that politicians uh, should just have to. Uh, more, more or less explain themselves, show where they've been. Um, and, and when I put the videos online, it's more to let people decide whether these changes that politicians have made are out of political convenience or out of their core convictions. I like to present the videos more w- without my own comment so that people can really decide for themselves. Because I think if, if you look back at who these people you know, previously were in their political lives, and it could have been two years ago, it could have been... Ten years ago, you get a better understanding about who they are today. Do you ever fear that there will uh, that, that at some point the material will run out, that all the video will have been found, or or is this a bottomless pit? Is there an endless supply for you? I, I think there is an endless supply because um, when this Republican primary is over, we're going to have 400 uh, plus seats up in the House. We're going to have 100 seats up in the Senate. Uh, there's always going to be elections. There's always going to be things to research. Uh, so it's just kind of a, a really, it's a continuing way I can uh, contribute to the political conversation. BuzzFeed's Andrew Kaczynski. Politicians beware. If there is video out there of you, Andrew's going to find it. Andrew, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me on the program. This is The John Bachelor Show.